inner peace. Once I was really close to achieving it, but then, then I sensed a disturbance in the fabric of reality. You think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs, huh? Property theft is a joke to you. My absolute disgust turned into a huge smile as soon as I saw the internet came together just this once to bully NFT people. Because as the blue blur himself once said, sometimes bullying is A-OK. -okay. The main method used to bully NFT people is by screenshotting their NFTs, but this introduces a small problem. We are human, and as humans we can only screenshot so many NFTs. We are fighting a war with sticks. What we need is a nuclear weapon, what we need is a warhead, what we need is our own Metal Gear against the NFTs. And this may just be our lucky day, because I made one. I made a bot that will screenshot every NFT it sees. You're welcome. How does it work exactly? Great question. Let me explain. I usually wouldn't even bother explaining the code, but this time because it's so short, I think I'm just gonna try my best to make it as simple as possible. The program gets the HTML of the web page, it scrolls down to load images, it fetches said images from the HTML, and it saves the images to a folder using their price and index number as their file names. And the program just repeats that for a set amount of time. Yeah, that's it. The code is barely 100 lines long, and even in those like 100 lines, there is a lot of unused code which I'll be explaining later. So I ran this bot for about an hour last night, and here are my results. The code is as optimized as an NFT aficionado's social skills, because I put this thing together in like an hour or something last night. So if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy to do a similar bot that's way more efficient. Still, it does work, and at a reasonable speed as well. Remember the unused code that I mentioned? Yeah, something pretty funny happened last night. Let me explain. Essentially, my first plan with this project was to have it hooked to Twitter, so it would like periodically tweet status reports, like the one that I showed you before in this video. Essentially, you would see that in form of a tweet every day or every 12 hours. Uh, but then when I, when I applied for the elevated access, which is needed for tweeting from code, like directly from code, uh, Twitter rejected my request and like immediately banned the application. You, you see, what's funny about this is the email they sent me telling me that like my request was rejected and my app is now suspended doesn't even include the reason why. <laughs> like, it just says that I violated a rule and that's it. I... Which rule I exactly did I violate? Could you please specify? <laughs> I mean, this is not the biggest problem in the world, like, it doesn't really have to be hooked to Twitter to work, this was just a small fun project that I did, but it's still annoying, you know, I would like to know the reason why, so maybe if I ever need to use a Twitter API, I can be sure that I don't violate that rule, but apparently, you know, they don't really specify the rules. Wonderful. This project was pretty effortless compared to the things I've done so far and that I plan to do, but this was a fun mini-project and fun was all I was hoping to get out of it, so I'm okay with this. Well then, if you want to see a slapping tournament video game that's a fully realized RPG with lore and exciting characters, then I recommend you subscribe. Anyways, see ya.